You want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife. It's the end of the marriage. What's that, I said? Yes, it's the end of the marriage. Is this now time for you to break open that bottle of champagne that you've been keeping to hear of this news that many have predicted for some time? And, of course, which is entirely typical of the dynamic that can occur between a narcissist and their victim, the intimate partner, primary source. Is it time for you to offer up a hallelujah? Is it time for you to perhaps even run naked down the street, such as your excitement at this coming to be? Well, I'll let you make the decision as to whether you ought to celebrate or not, because as usual, I leave it for you to make the determination about the veracity of the material. It appears in the Express newspaper, and it's an article by Matthew Dooley, which tells us, Harry's wife's blog relaunch, beginning of the end of Marriage to Prince Harry, says critic. How extraordinary. A blog relaunch is the beginning of the end of her marriage to Prince Harry? How could that be? Well, let us dive in and learn more, and then I'll analyse it for you through the lens of narcissism. Harry's wife is set to relaunch her blog, something which heralds the end of her marriage to boring Prince Harry, claimed one presenter. Prince Harry's marriage to Harry's wife is at the beginning of the end, as she plans to launch a major project, a pundit has said. Talk TV host Mike Graham blasted Prince Harry following reports that Harry's wife is relaunching her lifestyle blog, The, the Tick, in a bid to become an influencer. The Duchess's blog, which focused on oh, excuse me, uh, food, travel, fashion and beauty, was shut down in 2017 following Harry's wife's engagement to Prince Harry but it may be making a comeback. So we keep being told. Mike Graham said, I'll tell you what's really going on. It's the beginning of the end of their marriage. She's got two kids. She's now getting ready to move on. Let's face it, she's always been far more interesting than he. Well, I wouldn't necessarily agree with that. She may be more interesting in a sort of, my God, look at the train crash that's going on, although he's been competing with her pretty successfully in that regard as a consequence of the disclosures coming from Wire. Mike Graham continued, He's a boring guy, right? You're not going to tell me you'd like to wake up next to him every morning. He's so boring. He waits for her to tell him what to do. He waits for her to tell him what to say. Well, that's not necessarily as a consequence of Harry being boring. In fact, many people would say that he isn't actually that boring because he was always referred to as the Playboy Prince. That he had a bit of fun about him, a bit of spark, a bit of spunk, a bit of zeistiness, a bit of uh, fresh-faced cheek from time to time. That he would get into a bit of some scrapes, and therefore he's not boring. He's become boring. Why? Because he has to kowtow to her. As mentioned in immediate parts passing, he's viewed as being frightened of her. And as a consequence of that, it means... When does he get to go out with his mates and go to Bonkers Night Spot and chow down on a kebab at Abracababra thereafter? Never. When does he get to howl at the moon by slamming back some G&Ts and tequilas? We don't hear of that happening. Of course, if the children do exist, he's got responsibilities as a father, but that doesn't mean that you become Mr. No Personality. As I see it from people that I know, of course, it places constraints upon what they can and cannot do. But it's not there to divest you of your personality completely. The reason that has happened and the reason that he has become boring is as a consequence of his involvement with her. The fact is, he's frightened to do anything without her approval because of the consequences of her either cold or heated fury that is directed at him. The fact that he's chastised, told off, insulted, frozen out. And therefore... It's easier for him to keep his head down and try and not cause offence. The article continues. Speaking on Talk TV, Graham claimed Harry's wife would be out the door in as little as five years' time, now the couple had two kids and Harry's wife was thinking about relaunching her blog. She's got the website. She's got the kids. She's destroyed him, right? She will leave him like a husk, he added. Well, she hasn't quite destroyed him. He's still functioning. Of course, he's a shadow of his former self. 
When Harry's wife closed down the TIG in 2017, she penned a letter to her readers bidding them farewell. After close to three beautiful years on this adventure with you, it's time to say goodbye to the TIG, she wrote at the time. What began as a passion project, My Little Engine That Could, evolved into an amazing community oh God, it's boring, of inspiration, support, fun and frivolity. You've made my days brighter and filled this experience with so much joy. <laughs> Although there were rumours at the time that Harry's wife shut down the website due to criticism from the royal family, a source told People magazine that the actress wanted to focus more on her role in Suits. Hmm, yeah, well that turned out well. The source said, The tick has been a labour of love for Harry's wife, but it's a full-time job. Is it fuck? All she does is copy and paste things from other people. She wants to focus this season on Suits, which just started filming and spending more time in the field on her philanthropy, i.e. facade management. Harry's wife previously said, Oh, God. The name for the blog was inspired by the full-bodied red wine known as Teen and Yellow, which, of course, makes no sense whatsoever because it's a silent G. No announcement has been made about the relaunch of the website, but according to documents seen by express.co.uk from the US Patents Office, the revamped site would feature articles, interviews and commentary, yada yada, boring, read it all before. So we have somebody speculating that the relaunch of the blog, the tick, I know it's called the tick, but I like calling it the tick because it's parasitic in nature, is going to spell the beginning of the end of the marriage. Short answer to that is, no, it's not. The beginning of the end of the marriage essentially occurred when devaluation set in. Of course, it doesn't mean it's guaranteed, but the more likely outcomes are that he escapes because of the poor treatment that he receives, or more likely than that is the fact that she disengages from him because one of the disengagement triggers has been hit. And I've explained elsewhere the future for these individuals and that I see it most likely that she will disengage from him, that divorce will follow, that he will probably have some form of breakdown as a consequence of the way that he's being treated. And basically she's going to get rid of him because he effectively serves no further purpose to him, to her rather. In effect, he has he broken down. That doesn't necessarily mean that that point he has had an actual breakdown, but it's the equivalent of. When the intimate partner primary source breaks down, they're no longer functioning properly, which means they're not providing much fuel, their character traits aren't as good as they should be because they've lost their lustre, and residual benefits have gone out of the window. They might not be making a financial contribution anymore because they can't work. They may no longer be interested in having sex and providing that residual benefit. It makes the narcissist look bad. It places a demand on the narcissist by way of the narcissist being expected to look after this person. Now, with Harry, he might not be at the point of an actual breakdown, but because she's essentially sucked out of him as much as she can get, he might as well have broken down because it's the equivalent of him no longer functioning in a way which is useful for her, and thus that would amount to a disengagement trigger. So the startup of the blog as is rumoured to happen, that's not the beginning of the end. The beginning of the end is as a consequence of the abusive behaviours. It could be, of course, that there is no disengagement and no escape, but I don't see that as likely. I see it far more likely, as I predicted, that there's going to be a disengagement. And the disengagement is because he isn't of any use to her any longer. Nothing to do with the startup of the blog, but quite simply, as an appliance, he becomes a broken toaster, a broken down washing machine, and therefore you don't need it any longer, and he'll be shipped out. Quick look below the line, as there's plenty of comments in relation to this article. Nessa 6-7. The bloke is crying out that he's being abused. He shows all the signs, and she shows all the signs of being an abuser. He won't leave her now. She has trapped him with kids. She will eventually throw him away. I absolutely believe the royal family have looked into the legalities of this, and... He will definitely be welcomed back with open arms. This man is a shadow of himself. He cannot get the real truth out there at the moment because he's still married to her. So he's throwing his family under the bus as a cry for help. I can't stand his actions and how he's treated his family, but I can understand his self-destruction and cry for help. This woman is dangerous. Many observations there by Nessa 6-7 are correct, not in the entirety, but many of them. Richard Chaz, wishful thinking about a divorce. Harry has too much to do to reconcile with his family. And Harry's wife's chances of running for president will diminish with a divorce. 
who would vote for the twice divorced witch. Leslie B. Aren't her chances of running for president in doubt now, given Harry's admitted to drug taking? Tunnycliffe. I'm amazed the marriage has lasted this long. Harry hasn't been happy since the day of the wedding, but won't admit to it. It's all gone downhill for him since then. It'll be interesting to see how it all transpires. Again, there's some accuracy in that, because he's entered the sustained devaluation period, and it has indeed gone downhill. Pebbles Flintstone. Harry's wife knows what she blogged on about under alias, and she's trying to get those deep dive investigators to spill so she can try and counteract. Blog on, sweet pea, because we're saving the best for last. Anna Lee. Harry's wife will bring back her blog, which she indicates will focus on a variety of areas such as lifestyle. Of course it will be from the view of the rich and famous, travel, private jet, for Sean and style, which she never had and never will have, and a variety of other areas I speculate that she knows little of. However, the one that she's well knowledgeable in is that of relationships. She's one of the best gold diggers I've ever seen. Entice the men with her sexuality and then take them to the bank. When you've taken everything from them, then throw them under the bus or step on them as you walk all over them on your way out. What she's failed to recognise is that all women are not like her. Thank goodness for that, and they know how to treat men in the right way. She may have some watchers of her blog, but as soon as they see what she truly is, they will make a quick exit. Pearl 2, spending more time in the field of her th philanthropy. Still waiting for that. Mildred Rosenstein, I don't want her advice. Zinc Q, yep, yeah, I can't see it lasting. Another observation there, believing that it's going to fall apart. To Gucci. I hope it'll be the end of her and not only her marriage to Harry. It won't make a difference for Harry. He'll still be a prince and will always be remembered as a traitor to the monarchy, the people his father and brother. He'll never recover from it. She will always be the woman that destroyed Harry's life. Nothing more, nothing less. Elizabeth. Very sad affair, really, to see a man like Harry reduced to this pale shadow. She reminds me of a praying mantras. Mantis, rather. Connect the dots. Knowing that she's drawn to cameras like a moth to light, as soon as she disappeared from public sight when Harry did rounds for spare, it was clear she didn't want to be associated with him that much. I've always given it about five years before news of divorce. However, the two, I think Harry's more interesting than Harry's wife. She's as one-dimensional as her Z-list characters. Zub B. Wonder what version of the truth she will blog. Chevril, she'll put on a facade. She's a phony. Absolutely right. Plenty of people seeing through her, and there's hundreds of comments in a similar vein. The fact is, the end of the marriage will come about, not just yet, but it's in the pipeline. She will disengage from him. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.